Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 37. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to pass an array to a function. So if you guys watched the previous tutorial, then you guys should know all about arguments by now. And you should know how to pass an, uh, or just pass data to a function. Uh, yesterday we just passed like a simple string to the function and we got our function to use that as a variable. So it's basically the same thing with an array. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead now and make an array and I'm going to call it scores and this will obviously be like an array of test scores or exam scores. So uh, equals array and obviously got to close that off. Uh, we'll put in a couple values here. So I'll put in 65, not so bad, 32. So you don't want to be this guy because obviously he failed. And then we'll go ahead and say 78, uh, 98. And obviously you don't want to be this guy either because he's the teacher's pet if he got 98%. Uh, and then 66. Okay, so this, these can just be like uh, percentages uh, for an exam. And now let's make a function that'll work out the class average. So if these uh, five guys were in a class and that was their scores, let's try and figure out what the class average was. So I'm going to make a function and I'm going to call the function averager. So let's go ahead and say function averager and then we'll put in our uh, curly braces and our parentheses. Okay. And in here, obviously, I need to tell my function, hey, listen up, you're going to have to expect an argument. So I'm going to put an argument of array in here. And this means that whenever this function is called, it's going to ex expect at least one argument. Uh, and when we get that argument, we're going to call that argument array. Okay. Uh, now all we have to do is actually give our function something to do when we call the function. So like I said, I want to work out the average. And the way to do that is obviously find out what the total of all of these array elements is, or what the total of all these scores are, and then obviously divide that by five because there are uh, five scores. So let me go ahead and make a variable here called total. And we'll set that equal to zero at first. And now in a for each loop, we can loop through the array. So for each array as value, let's do something. And what we're going to do is obviously just take our variable total and then plus equals value and those are supposed to be the other way around, plus equals, plus equals value. Uh, so basically what this code does right now is it loops through each element in this array and then takes the uh, value of that e specific element at the time and adds it to total. So right now total sitting at zero, but as soon as the loop executes the first time, we get the value of 65 and we add that to total. So total should now be 65. The next time the loop runs, it's going to grab the value of 30 and then add that to total. So then we've got 65 plus 32, which equals whatever. I'm not really good at maths, uh, so I can't calculate that in my head, but so on. So we're going to do that for 78, 98, 66. Uh, and eventually we will have a total. Then to work out the average, we're just going to create a new variable called average and we're going to set that equal to total divided by however many elements there are in our array. So as you can see, we actually have five. So I could go ahead and just put in a five here. But then if I decided, well, there's one more student, then I'd have to change my code. So we'll leave it at five. I mean, we'll leave that array at five, but instead of putting a fixed um, number over here, 
we'll count how many elements there are in our array. So we'll go ahead and say count uh, scores, oh no, count array. Okay, so we'll count how many elements there are in this array uh, variable and then we'll divide it by that number. So basically whatever the total is here divided by however, ele however many elements there are in the array will give us our average. And now uh, the last thing our function obviously needs to do is just print out the value so that we can see it. So we'll just echo out uh, average. Okay and last but not least before we actually run this function we need to call it so let's go ahead and say averager uh, and then scores now it doesn't really matter that I'm calling the function before I've actually defined the function uh, PHP will know uh, that the function will be further down uh, in some programming languages like if you're working with C or something uh, if you're gonna make a function then you might have to declare the function above the code that actually uses the function otherwise you run into problems but in PHP we don't have to do that so I can just go ahead and run this like this and it should work so let's go back uh, that's working um, do I have Firefox open there we go okay cool so let's go back here and click refresh and as you can see, I have the number 67.8 echoed out to the screen. So if you were to take a calculator and add all of these up and divide that by five, that should be the average. Okay, so as you can see, we can pass arrays to a function just fine. And I realize I probably didn't explain this line of code uh, but if you guys watch the previous tutorial, it should make sense. All I'm doing is calling my function and then passing the variable scores or the array scores to the function. So then uh, all the data s stored in this variable scores get stored into this uh, variable array and then our function knows to work with this uh, variable whenever we're calling the array function. Uh, or array variable sorry so that's actually all I have for you guys in this video obviously don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time